Hey everyone, it's Allison here with New Little Life. I brought you up to my breastfeeding corner today because I want to compare two wearable pumps for you. Now these two pumps are quite different, so we're going to look at some of the pros and the cons of each one to help you decide which one you want to get. So today we're going to be looking at the Free Me pump versus the Willow. Let's jump right in comparing these two pumps. Now, these are similar pumps, but they are also quite different. They're both marketed as wearable breast pumps. So it's not something like the traditional pump, like something like this, where you have to plug it in and you're kind of stuck to the wall. It doesn't have the traditional phalanges either, which are kind of awkward, especially if you're trying to pump in public or in a workplace that's not totally private. So I can see where a wearable pump would be an awesome option for a lot of women. So the first obvious pro and con is the cost. The Freemie pump with the cups and the pump is less than $200. The Willow breast pump starts at about $500 and you might even need a couple extra accessories with it. So that's a pretty big difference. Now, if you had a parent like my dad who always said you get what you pay for and sometimes it's better to only cry once then you might be comfortable spending the 500 dollars on a willow right out of the gate but if that is just not doable for you at all the free me does have that going for it depending on your situation though you might prefer one of these over the other Okay, next let's talk about convenience. You can see that there is still some tubing and some logistics that you're gonna have to work with with the Freemi. This Willow pump, that's the entire thing. You stick it right in on the breast. There's no tubing, there's no nothing. So this is definitely a little bit easier to use. You can find ways to make the Freemi work. You can run the tubing under your shirt, clip this little pump onto your waistband of your pants, and it still works pretty well. But in my opinion, this is just a little bit easier to use. Let's look at the size real quick here. So here are these two pumps side by side. You can see that the Willow is a little bit bigger, but that's because it has the entire motor inside it. The Freemie still is a little bit bulky, and both of these are going to be noticeable under your shirt. But just try and accommodate for that wear a scarf or just be okay that you're pumping. There's no way you're gonna have normal looking breasts while you're pumping with any pump, so. I'll go ahead and show you what these look like while you're wearing them compared to each other. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing this, but this is a fun little experiment. This is obviously the free me side and this is the willow side. So actually the willow just, kind of gives me that Madonna look. I don't know, I kind of like it. The Freemie has this little flat spot. I don't know if you can see that. It does look a little wonky. I ran the tube out the, the top, but you can also run it down the bottom and hook it to your pump at your waist. So then it's a little bit more discreet, but there you go. Freemie's a little bit smaller, but a weirder shape. There you have it. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you some of the features that I like and dislike about each of these pumps. Let's go ahead and start with the Freemie. So this is a pretty good little pump and you can actually buy the entire Freemie system like this. It comes with two of these, I'm only holding one. Or you can just buy the cups. And if you just buy the cups, it's a little bit cheaper even and you can actually hook it to your traditional pump. So then you don't have those big awkward phalanges, but you can still use the motor from your pump, save some money there. A lot of women like to do this while they're driving. So you can put this in, hook it to your regular pump, you're good to go. If you wanna see how to hook this to a pump like the Spectra, it'll work with anything though, Medela, um, all those popular brands. I'll put a link up top for you. But if you get the whole pump system option, it makes it really portable. Cause like I said, it's got a clip on the back, you can just clip that right to your pants. The Freemie is also really quiet. 
It was completely dead before I started this video and I charged it for about an hour and it's at 99%. So it also charges really quickly. I charged it right on my computer, came with a little USB. So that's the sound you're gonna get. It's on max section there. So it is very quiet. The cups also hold up to eight ounces, which is more than the Willow. But it does have an air vent on the top, so you cannot pump in any position using this pump. You do have to be upright. So if it gets full while you're pumping and you're moving around a lot, if you bend over, you're gonna spill milk out of that hole. So that's important to remember. It is really easy pouring out of that hole though to get the milk out when you're done. Cleaning is also really easy. All the parts are plastic, very easy to clean with a little soap and water. Okay, now for the Willow Pump. This is really the Cadillac of breast pumps. If you're wanting to upgrade into like the next end of breast pumps, Willow's where it's at. What I especially like about the Willow is now they have a couple of different options for storing the milk. So it used to be that you had to buy these bags and they're obviously very specific to Willow. They've got the little con connector on the front. You place it in and you can still use these bags. They're a little expensive, about 50 cents a bag, but it makes the system completely closed. So you can pump in any position, move around, you could do yoga, you could be working your night shift, anything you wanna do, you can do with that system. So that's definitely a perk of the Willow. You can even pump while sleeping because this pump has an automatic shut off. They also came out recently with reusable milk containers. And if you follow my channel, you've probably already seen that video and I'll post it up top for you if you haven't but it's just a little container that you put on the pump and now you can collect the milk right in that container. This also comes in a smaller size, so you can get this in a 21 millimeter size here, which is smaller than you could previously. The Freemie pump also comes in a variety of sizes and there's also extra inserts that you can get with the Freemie to put in there to make it even smaller if that's something that you need. One of the downsides of the Willow is it will only hold probably at max maybe five ounces, maybe just a little bit more than that. So if you consistently pump more than that, you might have to change it out. But with the reusable milk containers, there's no extra cost, so that's awesome. This one is also pretty easy to clean. There's just a couple little extra parts. Obviously this pump part, you don't have to clean in between feedings. It's just the part that's touching the milk. And another really cool thing with the Willow is that you can connect it to the Willow app. So you can see how much milk you're pumping while you're pumping it. This might be a tiny bit of a downside. Anytime you add technology, you're adding just some more potential for things to kind of get fumbled. So you can take that as a pro or a con. I actually think it's pretty cool. This also has an automatic switch from letdown to expression mode, which is really cool. But this pump is gonna require just a little bit of learning. It's different than your traditional pumps. Okay, and here's what the Willow pump sounds like. It's actually pretty quiet as well. And it actually won't work unless the suction is right. So I've got my little breast model here helping me out. You can hear sometimes it makes that little extra noise and that's just it trying to find some suction. That is a little bit louder than just the typical suction that it does. Also pretty quiet though. When you're done pumping with the Willow, you do have to do a little flip to finish. And I'll be making more videos on the Willow to give you all the guides through this after my little baby's born. I actually think both of these pumps are really great. They just serve two different purposes. So I can't really tell you which one is better than the other. It really kind of depends on what you're looking for, how often you're gonna be pumping, where you're gonna be pumping, how much convenience you want, what your budget is. But I hope that gave you kind of a good walkthrough of these two pumps. While they are both wearable pumps, they are pretty different. There's links to both of these pumps down below. You can also get these pumps through your insurance company and I have more videos on how to do that as well. For more breast pump videos, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you around next time.